hello and very warm welcome to yet another video tutorial hope you are doing great and in today's video we are going to learn how to create checkbox in iOS using Swift 4 so here let's start we'll create a single view application and we will name it animated checkbox and here we will save it to our hard drive software source code block tutorials and here in the folder animated check box create and select here and create so here xcode provides us a single view application template so in, in iOS there is no default control provided by Apple for the checkbox so we are going to use UI button that will act as a checkbox for that we need two images one is checked and one is unchecked so we will drag and draw first uh, images to the asset folder here I already made these two images for checkbox and these two for uncheck box and here I will drag it here so here you can see one is checked and one is unchecked image so now I will go to main.storyboard and here I will drag a UI button from object library and here I will give it a constraints I will place it horizontally and vertical center in container and I will set the type custom and I will change the title to blank and here I will go here and copy this name so that there is no issue and check box and here in my button here we have different states default highlight is selected and disabled so for default state we will consider it as an empty checkbox and here I will put uncheck box and here in selected I will give the image check box and so here our button is tied up now here I will create a function it read IB action function check box tapped and it equals to sender of type UI button because we are sure that it will be a UI button as we already taken it so now I will connect this to my hair buttons touch up inside and here so at this moment if we run our app let learn it app on iPhone 10 so here at this moment I will run the app it will nothing happen so so it will show this image because this is set to the default and let's see it's considered constant left in the meantime So it will take some time to load and here it is so here it is running the app and here you can see the button and when I tap nothing will happen it only shows so here for the text is I will check if send uh, dot is selected means the sender is selected then I will set sender sender dot is selected is equals to false otherwise else and I will set sender dot is selected equals to true okay so if you read the is selected property here 
it will say that a boolean value indicated whether the control is in the selected state set the value of this property true to select it or false to deselect it so now if at this moment if i run then you can see the checkbox will work So here you see this is checkbox unchecked checked and unchecked so here in this way you can create a UI uh, you can create a checkbox using UI button in a very simple way so here this tells that this is not selected checkbox is not selected and it said the checkbox is selected so here you can see now there is a very easy way to animate it for example let's see let's comment out this code first and here I will say UI view UI view dot animate with duration 0.5 delay 0.1 and do, dot Curve linear and animation will be this completion ball we will guess if it's success. So here what we will do we will set our fender dot transform is equal to CG of in transform and here we will set scale point one and point one okay and in success we will what we do ui view ui view dot animate with duration same here 0.5 delay will be 0.1 dot curve linear animation and here we will pass on it because we don't need this and here we will say sender dot is selected so is selected is equals to not equals to sender dot is selected so this tells that set the property of is selected to the negative or to the opposite of the current value and here we will set sender dot transform is equals to dot identity okay, so let's see what happens when we add our animation code block so now it's animating but it's changed the image first so now we will add it into this when it selects so now it will run perfectly so here you can see this is the checkbox with the animation so this is a very simple animation you can change it into your own way so if you like our tutorial then please subscribe to our channel so that you can keep updated for our next videos posts and do like this video and do share this video thanks for watching bye bye